Do you want to create awesome-looking logos, banners, and more? Today, we'll dive into the world of Stable Diffusion and discover how to turn simple text into stunning artwork. Get ready to unleash your creativity as we take you through this easy step-by-step -step process for creating captivating images. Before we embark on our logo-making journey, let's make sure we have all the essential files. I'll provide a list of models, LoRa's, and checkpoints we'll be using in the description. Make sure to download these beforehand to make the most of Stable Diffusion. You will need ControlNet installed and the LineArt preprocessor, which can be found on the Hugging Space website. For the checkpoint, I will use DreamShaper, as this is a nice checkpoint to create logos, but you can use any checkpoint you like. Lastly, you will need to install the AnyLogo LoRa, this is essential to create amazing logos with Stable Diffusion. To begin, we need to prepare our input image for ControlNet. I'll be using Photoshop to create a square canvas with outlined text, but you can use any software you're comfortable with. Simply follow the steps outlined here. Open Photoshop and create a square canvas with a white background. Use the text tool to write your text in white and position it accordingly. Now apply an outline to the text using stroke in layer styles. Then, save your square image as JPEG or PNG. Now it's time to set up Stable Diffusion for our logo creations. Remember, you can always tweak these settings to suit your preferences. Here's what you need to do. Write a prompt or find one from the Civit AI website. They are crucial to the process. Select the Hypernetworks icon under the Generate button to select the Any Logo LoRa. Choose the checkpoint. I will be using DreamShaper. Select a suitable sampling method like DPM++2 M Keras. Adjust the sampling steps for better quality. I recommend a minimum of 25 steps. Next, open ControlNet. Drag and drop your prepared image into the ControlNet interface. Optimize the model for logos and graphics by selecting LineArt. Set the preprocessor to invert for the desired effect. Enable ControlNet and set it to pixel perfect. If you have a slower GPU, you can also check the low VRAM button. Now hit generate and watch your text come to life. If your text isn't showing correctly, you can increase the control weight and generate again. This will add more of your text to the generated image. After you find a logo you like, I recommend to upscale your logo using the ultimate SD upscale script. I have a video on how to use this. You can find it in the description or press the card in the top right of your screen. Click on Send to Image to Image. Here you want to clear your prompts or only leave the non-descriptive prompts. Select your sampling method that you used. Now select the upscale script and adjust the settings accordingly. I do recommend the 4X Ultra Sharp Upscaler, which I forgot to choose here, but you can use any upscaler you like. Increase the sampling steps. I used 50 for this tutorial. Remember that with a low denoising strength, the actual amount of sampling steps is lower too. With a denoising strength of 0.2, the actual sampling steps will be 20% of what you select, in this case, 10. Congratulations on mastering stable diffusion and transforming text into captivating logos. With ControlNet and creative prompts, you now have endless possibilities for stunning visuals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your incredible creations with us. Keep pushing the boundaries of creativity, and until next time, have a fantastic day.